You know, I was put into judo school at the age of five in South Africa and inherent within these uh, martial disciplines. And I stayed with the discipline. I went from judo through karate into Aikido, into Thai boxing, Wing Chun Kung Fu. I've done just about any martial art you can name, but by the time I came to my 30s, um, we can say that my clairvoyance, intuitive capacities were awakened and I chose Qigong. I started practicing Tai Chi. Eventually I found my meditation teacher. I've worked with many different meditation teachers. And ultimately I ended up uh, training law enforcement and military across the planet, uh, martial arts. And ultimately I ended up teaching meditation to special forces operatives. You know, Stephen has, you know, 52 years of experience in martial arts. He started when he was five years old in, in South Africa and then now 30 years in Qigong meditation, he, he's a force to be reckoned with. I mean, he's deadly with his hands, but yet he's one of the kindest human beings I know. When we look to the world of Qigong, Qigong is uh, very popular right now. In fact, we can say that uh, Qigong is infinite. But what we teach is the very essence of Qigong. The particular style we can say is the eight extraordinary meridians. I like to call this the subtle flows because when dealing with energy, we're dealing with uh, subtlety of power. And these subtle flows, um, this tradition of meditation has come to us across millennia. And, and it's fantastic stuff. Stephen, as a teacher, is he's just amazing. I mean, his breadth of knowledge is just unfathomable. He is a wonderful teacher. He's a wonderful person. He's very kind and caring. Uh, you know that when you come to him, you're being taken care of. The Qigong, really what it does is it brings you into relationship with yourself. And once you're in a relationship with yourself, then you can go into relationship with others. So uh, many people coming to Qigong, they have this question, um, like, who am I? They arrive at Qigong in, the, in a very, what we would say, a psychological state. So in Qigong, okay, we ignore this and we just start teaching them the meditations. And as I explained, you know, this breath work, okay, it changes your consciousness. And as your consciousness changes, okay, you begin to understand like what you are is how you are energetically built up and how you are, how that energy actually functions in your life. And as a consequence of this, you, you move away from that, I, that psychological idea of who am I and I don't understand other people and you arrive at that place where you can make that I am statement. Okay, you are part of this universe. There are absolute dimensions to yourself, but you can only ever get to those absolute dimensions of self if you've mastered the relative dimensions of self. That's real human learning. That's Chico. I don't see that anywhere else.